Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, as you guys can see, okay, um, you know, redeeming the times, you can see that uh, we're um, nearing the end, okay, concerning uh, this truth, all right, this ministry, all right, the famine of the word, all right, really can be here or can be upon us any time now. And, um, you know, it's really only a matter of time, all right? But as you can see, more and more things are happening in the world, which means that the uh, 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 the amount of time that this truth has out there, all right, is, is limited. Okay, and very soon the Lord is going to just make that, you know, take that word away from the world, and it's going to remain with only those that have it. Nonetheless, us, all right, that are uh, doing the works, okay, we have to remember that now, you know, is the time to finish, okay, but in finishing, we have to finish strong, all right, this is, you know, this is your basically like your, you know, your one, your one chance, you don't get a do-over of this, all right, and so, you know, going and in, coming into the times that we're coming into, all right, our, our best bet, all right, is salvation, our only hope is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and them delivering us, okay, so we want to make sure that we finish strong, you know, you might have started strong, you might have started weak, okay, you know, but we all, we've all been in this journey, so you got to make sure, man, that until the Lord, all right, brings that famine to where it's impossible to do the works or, you know, to, to, to go out there in the highways and byways, all right, or to uh, uh, push these videos out, you want to make sure that you, all right, even until the final moments of them shutting this, this thing down, all right, you are giving it your all, okay, now this is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 4. It says, I must work the works of him that sent me. All right, and who sent us? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, let's get a precept on that. And we were sent to do a job. Okay. Um, this is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And our job is to, is to preach the message of salvation. All right, really pre preach this truth. Okay. All right, on to the elect, and as well as these nations as well, okay? But mainly, we're here to fish for the elect, okay? So that they may call upon the name of the Lord and get saved. How then shall they call on him in uh, in whom they have not believed? And how shall, how shall they believe on whom on him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Okay? It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Okay, so we are what? We are sent, all right, as it says here, uh, I must work the works of him that sent me. Okay, so we've been sent to come and do a specific work. And that is the main focus. That is the goal and the focus from day one until the Lord closes this thing. Okay, we're not here to do our work, so our will, we're here to do the Lord's will. Okay, so that means we go by his program. It says, while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. So you don't want to wait till the night comes before you, you now, oh, now I'm ready to do the, you're not going to have the opportunity to. So you got to take the opportunity now, okay, and give it your all. Whatever reserves you got, you just put it out there, man, all right, and start, you know, putting it to use. Okay, show the Lord that within this business of his, that you're an asset. Don't be that. That dude in the parable that the Lord gave who took that one talent and went and hid it in a napkin somewhere. Nah, man. Take it. Flip it for as much as you can. All right. So that when the Lord comes, he may be pleased at it. Okay. Now, this is the book of Acts chapter 20, verse 24. Um, <clears throat> all right. This is uh, Acts 20 and 22. It says, And now, behold, I go bound in the spirit. On to Jerusalem. This is, I believe, this was uh, the Apostle Paul speaking. He says, "Not knowing the things that shall befall me there, all right, save that the Holy Spirit witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of those, none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahushai." To testify the gospel of the grace of the Most High, all right. So, so Paul, you know, was so uh, 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 focused, 
all right, that he's will, he was willing, like he's, as he said, counting his life not dear unto himself, that he may finish the course with joy, all right? So anything that was going to hinder him finishing the course, he didn't count it dear unto himself. There were the main thing that was that was dearest and uh, at the top of his mind on his plate was finishing the course. You know, you, you have to, the scriptures talk about better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. You have to finish strong. Okay, because if, if after all this thing, all these things, all right, uh, 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 Paul did, if he turned around and messed it up at the end, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't count. You know, you could, hey, look, you could run a race and lead the race the whole time and then mess up at the end and end up in last place. You know, yes, you know, you run a good race, but ultimately you also have to finish a good race. All right, with a good finish. Okay, so as we just read here. Paul said what? He he counted his life, he, he didn't count his life dear unto himself that he may finish the course with joy. So we see the things that are about to happen. Okay, so what? We want to make sure that we also finish our course. Okay. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, For, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So whatever job, all right, that the Lord gave Paul to do, he went and did it, all right, and he finished it, okay? He didn't leave the plate with, you know, scraps on it, whatever the goal, he didn't complete it 90%, he didn't complete it 95%, he completed it 100%, same with Yahushai, all right? Yahushai came on the earth, and he completed his job, his task 100%, all right? So for us, we have to have that in mind. As the scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? So you want to endure on to the end. You want to finish the course and you want to finish it strong. You have a lot of demons out. You have a lot of distractions out. You know, you have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, unnecessary madness going on. But that is not to sway our focus, all right, from the, 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 the task at hand. Okay? No matter what things look like, until the Lord brings that famine of the word, until he stops us, we got to keep on working. Okay? And working harder and harder. That's why, you know, if you notice the the the, the mandate that the, the, that Apostle Tahar gave, is it went up, you know, from just three videos a week to a video a day, okay? Because we're at the end. You want to finish your course, but you want to finish it strong, okay? As the scriptures say, uh, give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. Verse eight. It says, "Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at that day." And not deny me only, but oh, so like not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. See? So all them that love his appearing are also gonna what? They're gonna have crowns ready for them. Why? Because they're also gonna have finished this course. See, when when the when the disciples asked the Lord, or really when the Lord told them, okay. Um let me see. Taste of death. Okay, this is uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 28. It says, Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man come into his kingdom. Okay, now, um, man, I think I was looking for another one where he said, uh, Followed me to regeneration. There it is. This is when the Haushai was asked, uh, by Peter, I'm gonna read it. Matthew 19 and 27. Then Peter then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And the Yahweh said, said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, so what? You have to finish. All right. In the reincarnation, when you when you're back here on the earth, all right, you're going to be doing the same thing. Those of you which have followed me even in the regeneration and finished your course. Guess what? When I come back, you're going to get your reward. So we have to be of that mindset that, hey, you know, through the different uh, 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 incarnations that we've been in, we've been doing this work. We've been continuously running the race. Now is the time that all the different prophets of old saw. 
okay? And we're living it, all right? So we got to make it count, okay? So like Paul was saying here, the righteous judge is going to give him that, that crown, which is the Lord, and not to him only, but unto all them that also love his appearing. And if you love the Lord's appearing, you're going to do what's necessary so that, as the scriptures say, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, that's not going to be so for us, all right? Because we've done what we had to do as servants. Now, this is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. It says, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. All right, and that's through Yahweh It says, And he, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. All right. So all these things, guess what? They're going to be fulfilled very, very soon. And and this is what the prophets have been talking about since the world began. All those thousands of years ago, this is what they've all been progressively looking forward to. And now here we are in this very moment, all right, in these visions. We're actually in these visions, watching them fulfill and manifest, okay? And so now is what? Now is the time to make sure you're giving it your all and you're finishing the course. All right. You have to finish the course. It doesn't matter how close you get to the end. You still have to finish it. All right. That is the key word. Finish it. All right. Now, this is the, I'm going to finish it off here. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 45. It says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom when his Lord whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Shall find so doing what? Doing the works. Doing what he was commanded to do, giving all diligence, finishing strong. Alright. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Okay, that is the mindset and the spirit to be in, man. Alright, that well, upon your house shall return, you don't want you don't even wanna you don't wanna risk it, man. Okay. So where you can pitch a case, even, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, the scriptures say our, our righteousness is as a filthy rag. But, you know what I mean, at least you can pitch a case that you gave it your all, you know. So it's up to the Lord if he if he's satisfied with that or not. But if you, because you, hey, you're not going to be able to hide anything from the Lord. He's going to know within your heart, all right, if you gave it your all, if you didn't, if you finished or you didn't, if you were slacking off, all right, or if you were serious and fervent about his word. All right. If the, every opportunity you got, you you took it to cap, you capitalized upon it, took advantage of it, so that you may further, all right, your your progress in this course, so that you can ultimately finish strong. Okay. Uh, let me see. Endure it. Um, <clears throat> should be here in the book of uh, Revelation. Okay, the same shall be saved. Hopefully I can find it. Okay, all right, Matthew. All right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so that means what? You finish your course. Let's look up the word endure. <clears throat> it says, uh... Upomeno, all right, to remain, to tarry behind, to remain, not recede or flee, to persevere under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to one's faith in Hamashiach, to endure, all right, uh, bear bravely and calmly ill treatments, all right, and so that goes into what? Finishing your course. As Paul was mentioning earlier that we read, regardless of what was going to happen to him, he counted his, he didn't count his life dear that he may finish his course. All right. So with that, I hope this was edifying and exhorting on to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.